Yo guys, Code Life here. So in today's video, guys, I thought it'd be quite interesting if we tested out these brand new set of in-game config settings to see if they actually do anything in Fortnite Battle Royale. That's right, guys. After watching this video today, all of you watching will know if these new four set of latency tweak options are actually worth enabling or not. I myself, guys, I'm not going to lie. From the name of them alone, I am expecting them to do something um, in terms of FPS or something along those lines but you never really know with config settings so I thought what we'd do is we'd test them out and find out today. Now before I do go ahead guys and test these out for all of you I want to say quickly that if this video does help you out in any way or even if you do enjoy it I'd appreciate it greatly if you could all drop a like on the video as that would help me out a ton. But yeah let's now jump straight into the video and test out these settings. So to begin with guys the first thing that we must do is locate the settings themselves before we can even enable them. To locate the settings themselves all you've got to do is do the following that I do right here. You want to head over to your Windows desktop, you want to press the Windows key plus R at the same time which this should open a run box and in that run box you want to type in percentage sign local app data percentage sign and press ok after that you want to make sure that the local folder is selected and if it is you want to click on the fortnite game you want to click saved you want to click config and then you want to click windows client and in that folder right there guys you should see the file that we're all been looking for and that is the game user settings config file what you want to do to get inside of this config file guys is you want to right click on it and click edit and then boom you're inside the game user settings file which if you do scroll down in this file you guys will see all the new options as you can see there's four in total there's tweak one tweak two tweak 3 and then tweak 4. You'll notice straight away that all of these are disabled by default so what we want to do right here is we want to enable all of them by simply turning all of those falses into trues. Just simply edit each one of them make them all into trues guys and you'll have all of them enabled. Once you've done that click save and then boom you're good to go. Now that we have got all of those enabled guys what we'll now do is jump into Fortnite and test out to see if my FPS or anything else has been affected at all. So let's go ahead and jump into Fortnite right now. Okay guys, so I'm in Fortnite right now, and just before I do test the FPS out, I have literally just noticed that right here in my in-game settings, I've noticed that these four have been added. Now obviously these have been added because we did enable all of them in the in-game config, but I thought I would still share this for all of you, as I feel like it's pretty cool seeing them in-game, like in the in-game settings themselves. I thought I'd mention that quickly. But yeah, now that we have seen them in the game themselves, and that does sort of guarantee that the setting itself is enabled, let's now jump into Fortnite and test to see if my FPS or anything else has been affected or changed. Alright guys, so I've just jumped into a creative mode game right here to test out my FPS, and well, to my disappointment guys, I can't notice any sort of differences. I'm not gonna lie, I myself, I was expecting at least a little increase in terms of FPS, but right now guys, it does just feel like my standard FPS, like aka my FPS without these settings being enabled. Like straight up, my FPS feels the exact same as it did when I did have these settings disabled. Now that I have gone ahead and enabled them though guys, I don't feel any differences at all. I don't know if that's just me or my computer, um, for you guys out there, I'd recommend that you guys try this out for yourselves and see if it's different on your end. But for me guys, overall, I don't feel any sort of differences at all. And I don't really see any differences either. That is quite surprising to be honest guys, as I myself, I did hear that this setting supposedly changes something minor in terms of the animations of the game. But even for the animations themselves, I don't know if it's just my eyes or I can't notice it or anything but I can't see any differences there either. So I don't really know guys, overall from my testing right here, it doesn't seem that these new options really do anything at all. For me, from my testing, the game feels the exact same, my FPS is pretty much the same, and the animations themselves and what these settings apparently do change, they all feel the same as well. Again though, that could be me guys, so what I'd recommend is all of you do this, what I've just done here, enable the settings, try them out for yourselves, and then let me know guys in the comments below if you notice any changes, any differences, or any improvements at all. I'd love to know guys, so be sure to let me know your findings and your test results in the comments section below. 
I'll be reading them. And yeah, guys, that's all I've got for today. Just wanted to test out these new set of options to see if they do anything in Fortnite. And well, as you've seen right there, from my results, they don't. Hope this video did help you guys out. If it did, feel free to drop a like on the vid, subscribe to the channel if you are new around here, and use code life in the Fortnite item shop if you would like to support me directly. Thanks for watching. Peace.